Hello, everybody, and welcome to Rogue Legacy. Um, I'm actually looking for a something, but I don't know where it is. Oh no! So let's start. Let's see. I'm just trying to see here. Okay, that seems to be fine. I don't have a clock, which is what worries me. Or even something. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and hopefully I can actually read this. It's very dark. Put it here, maybe? Okay. Should be able to read the clock. Wow. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, so, I'll just kind of explain the game a little bit while I play here for my first run, which is not going to be amazing or anything because I'm actually really bad at this game. But it is a roguelike that is set in this castle, Castle Hampson. Um, you can basically smash tons of things to collect gold and uh, stuff like that. We're going to read this journal entry here. Trail entry number one. Treason. An assassin has wounded my father, the king. To bring order back to the kingdom, he has sent my siblings and I on a quest to save him. Together, we will venture into the cursed woods and enter Castle Hampson. Hampson. This cursed castle has stood on the edge of the woods since time immemorial. But rumors say that within it dwells an item which will cure any ailment. Tonight, I will get a head start over my brothers and sisters and set forth on my quest while they lay asleep. To fail this quest would be an embarrassment to my name. Oh. I thought he was like... Okay. Um, so we got, oh man. So basically... Basically... There's different uh, enemies here. And you can fight, that was a level 2. So this is a something with bones, some kind of skeleton. But basically, the whole point of the game, well, the whole point of the non-plot. So like, I'm not gonna give away the plot or anything. But the whole point of the game that doesn't cover the plot is basically just collecting gold to upgrade your character. Um, the game is. I don't know if I want to say pers. Whoa, that was weird procedurally generated but it is generated randomly um, every time you enter so every time you enter the castle it's a different castle basically different layout a lot of the rooms look very familiar after a while playing because they just shuffled up a bit oh spike Okay. Okay. Um, basically, there's a bunch of different uh, characters, and all, a lot of the characters have um, three different forms, I guess you could say, like upgraded versions of themselves. So, like, for some reason, I keep getting these weird drums. Um, you have like the zombie, and then you have a Level 2 zombie, well not level 2, but the second form zombie, which is stronger. Um, okay, so we died. And in any roguelike, we have permadeath, so this character is now dead. Surly has been slain by Garbox, and it shows me all the people I've killed. So I've killed the little cloak guy, skeleton, and a couple other guys. And then they show you little parting words. Uh, we're not going to worry about runes right now because we don't have any. So you get back to this screen, which is the title screen. And you start over here, and then you get to choose who you want to be the, the heir. So you can choose... So there's different classes, traits, and then you get a different spell. So the class is basically the basic stats before you have traits or spells or anything like that. So... You can read them all on the right here. And then you have traits like this guy here. So you can see he says Nostalgic, Alzheimer's. 
I'm not sure what Alzheimer's does, but I know it, nostalgic puts like a sepia tone on it. So, but we're actually gonna play as him, so you'll get to see that. So you choose your character, and then you have this screen, which is the manor, which you can use to spend your gold. You can see right here the smithy is 50 gold to unlock, so we're gonna unlock him, and then the castle will slowly get built. The blacksmith can build the finest equipment in the world, turning you into a veritably virtuous, violent villain vaporizer. Gathering blueprints will give him an even wider array of assorted armaments for your armory. So as you add on here, so like, I'm gonna press this, and you'll see if I were to upgrade my knight, um, what'll happen is slowly the castle that's in this picture here, my hands on the screen, um, will start to build. So you can see we're in sepia because I have the... Uh, you can see, where is it? On the bottom left there, it says, um, everything is old-timey. So, because he is a, um, barbarian, you get a high health. So you can see up here in the top left, I have 165, which is, for right now, that's the high, let's see if I can go in here and look at it. Yeah, so that that's like my base heart for the Barbarian. And then I have my mana, then you have gold, and then you see here the little blades are my spell. So to cast a spell... Uh, okay, on the keyboard it's W, but on the controller it's the... O button on a PlayStation and the uh, like I think it's I guess B I don't really know so what we can do is press up here to talk to the blacksmith welcome hero maybe you can help me I used to be the greatest blacksmith in all the lands but one day the monsters of this castle attacked my smithy and stole all my blueprints without those blueprints I can only make cutlery and stuff I mean, not including, like, all of the stuff you have on your shelf right now, but... Psh, please bring back any blueprints you find, and I can build the most amazing equipment ever. At a price, of course. So you can talk to him. He un you can unlock your stuff with money here. You can see the Squire Sword is 250 The Squire Helm is 150 I don't have that much gold. Um, so we are actually just going to go back in the manor here. Da, 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 so, every time you go back into the manor, you see this guy. This is uh, Sharon. Yeah. So, in to get back in, you have to pay a toll, which basically means you have to give up all your money to enter. And that's how you continue playing the game. So, the game, reminiscing, the game kind of goes on like this. So, you enter the castle, you play, you collect some gold, you kill some stuff, and then you, um,. We'll come back. Let's see if I can do this. You come back as your like son or daughter, and you do it all over again. So this, I don't know if you noticed, but that painting moved. Oh God! Oh no! But that painting is what we call in the industry a doomvis. You can see at the top there, Doombus. It's basically a fake painting that will attack you. And they're annoying. There we go there. Oh. And then we have to be worried about it. It's guys like this. The scouts. They their projectiles can shoot through walls. But then guys like the guy in the cloak that we always see. His projectiles can't go through walls, which is convenient. There's another boom vest for us to grab. Okay, got my invincibility there for a second. Okay. It's always best to like take out the doom vest as soon as you can. That way it doesn't get in your way later. So we can actually press shift. Oh, that's what Alzheimer's does. Okay. If you pressed... I don't know why I said shift. I guess it would be... 
I don't know what the controls are on the PC. Well, you press something on the PC, um, but it's select on my PlayStation controller, and that brings up the map. We can't see anything on this map right now because we have also Do we want to switch to the axe? Sure. So we're switching our spell to the axe, which is like a throwing. S well, they're both—they're all throwing spells, but it's a. Um, it's a. What's it called? This one is like an arc. Arch, arch. I don't know. Let's do this. No, oh, I didn't make it. Okay. I apologize if I suddenly get really quiet. Uh, one, it's the morning. I don't want to bother anyone else who's trying to sleep in the house. And two, because I'm not good at this game, I need to focus a lot or else I will die. And you don't want me to die. Unless you do, in which case. It's very easy to fast forward to see me die. Oh. So now I'm dead. You didn't even have to fast forward. <sighs> Purchasing equipment is cheaper and more flexible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Sir Gouda, the mage. So he is energetic, but everything far away is blurry. He's a dwarf and bald. That actually might be nice to play as. And he's giant. So we're going to play as Sir Culp, who is a dwarf and bald. We're gonna upgrade our knight just to show you the um, dun, 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 the castle. Well, I guess the castle doesn't go yet. Okay, now I'll show you. So the castle will slowly grow as we go here. There's the architect and the enchanter. So we need 90 gold for that and 90 gold for that. So hopefully on this run, look how tiny he is. Hopefully we can pull out. Um, 180 gold or more. Hopefully, more. Balding. But, uh. It has been 15 minutes. So, you'll have to see this run in the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. If you do enjoy this series, please like, favorite, and subscribe so you can keep up to date when I release the next episode of this. I will just cut the video here. Whoa, okay. But uh, I will show you this chest first. So you'll find rooms like this where you have a chest. And inside the chest is a squire chest weight. But sometimes there's a lot of money in them. And then if you see a chest that is uh, iron banded, like it's got. I'm gonna go back so I can point at it. Okay, so I have like where my my um, this the hand that's holding the sword right now. If you see that piece of wood that's kind of like vertical, the same thing at this end. If that's uh, iron or I guess some kind of metal, I don't know what kind it is really, but whatever kind of metal that is, I'm gonna die. God. Oh, Jesus. Well, thank you guys for watching, and um, I'll see you next time. Bye.